Welcome back to Fabro Mobile Detailing. In this video, you guys, we are at Atlanta Motorsports Park in Dawsonville, Georgia for the Koshkimi USA launch event. Let's do it. I apologize, Andrew and the Koshkimi team that it's taken me this long, two months, actually almost three months to make this video, but I had a computer issue. My computer ended up crashing. I lost tons of video footage from past details that I never made, that I haven't edited videos on. And luckily, I didn't lose anything from the Koshkimi event and a few other videos. So I got a brand new computer, now I'm able to edit it, and that's why it's taking me this long to do it. So last summer I was contacted by Andrew from Koshkimi USA wanting to know if he could send me a package um, and I said sure and as soon as I said sure I got online and I looked up Koshkimi because I had never heard of them before I know I'm not saying that right you guys uh, but I'd never heard of them before and I kind of looked through their web page and stuff I was like okay this is pretty interesting you know they're a German company Germans are really known for really good abrasives and their products um, I, was, I was like, this this could be very, very good products. We'll find out. So they sent me the box. When I opened it up, it had a video in it, and the video was inviting us to an event. Excellence. It's what so many strive for, yet few achieve. It is a story and the history of ordinary things turned into extraordinary standards that take decades to set. After 40 years of creating excellence for experts all over the world, Koshkemi is launching our United States headquarters. Now is your chance to embrace the opportunity to be a partner before anyone else. With so much competition, it can be hard to stand out. So today, we invite you to do just that with our exciting and proven line. Please join us on Tuesday, November 17th at the private club of Atlanta Motorsports Park for our invite-only launch event. You can expect product information, presentations, and hands-on demo experiences. After an amazing day at the racetrack, you can stay at a premier North Georgia winery and resort with breathtaking views, while you can enjoy great food and wine. Product credit to cover travel, as well as included accommodations and food, are available for approved attendees. Bring your customers the best with Kosh Kemi. Bring them excellence for experts. Yeah, so that's the box that I opened up and I was like, okay, this is freaking cool. So if a company is going to go that far and sending me a box with a freaking video in it, uh, imagine what their event's going to be like and the products that they have are going to be like. So I tested out their products. Uh, I used them on my dad's truck as far as the fine cut and the micro cut. I did make a video on that already. You can find it up here somewhere. I'll put a card up there so you guys can go and you can check that video out. Those two products are awesome as, as well as their two pads right here, the yellow and the purple. I love their pads. I actually ended up buying more of their pads uh, once once I tried them because I absolutely love their pads. The beginning of November came around and we went down to the Koshkimi event down in Dalunesia, Georgia is where we stayed at the Dalunesia Winery and Resort. It's an absolutely beautiful place. Uh, the first night we had a meal and then me and my wife turned in early because we had traveled all day long. And then the next morning we got up, we went to Atlanta Motorsports Park to the actual event. Um, we had an absolutely great time. We got to hang out with Phil and Jess from Miranda Detailing, uh, Jason from Chicago Auto Pros, Carlos Serrano from Serrano's Mobile Detailing, Jimbo from Jimbo's Detailing. And then the day of the event, uh, Matt Mormon was there. I picked his ear for about an hour, probably annoyed him, uh, asked him all kinds of questions because his brain is constantly, constantly moving. Uh, he is different. Uh, as most of you probably know, if you've ever watched any of Obsessed Garage's videos, he is very blunt. Um, he has no filter, but at the same time, when he's giving me the advice he was giving me, I knew that what he was telling me was going to be, was going to be really good. Um, and he gave me a lot of really good advice and a lot of stuff that I'm going to think about for the future. So Matt Morgan, I really appreciate you talking to me. I really do, uh, for that about an hour, which my wife was sitting there the whole time going, oh, come on, get done. Oh, come on, get done. <laughs> so I appreciate that, Matt. But the event was absolutely fantastic, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna roll some video so you guys can see how the event went. So, good morning, America. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, 
uh, the guys from Kosh Kimmy weren't able to come over from Germany, so they had to do it online. And I'll be honest with you, I had a hard time understanding what they were saying because of the echo of all the TVs uh, that had volume on. But I got the gist of their product breakdown. They were trying to explain how their products work and what all the numbers mean and stuff like that. Um, it, it was actually very, very cool though to hear their side and, and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis over at Kosh Kimmy. Once we got done with that meeting, uh, we split up into groups and we had two different sessions. We went down into one room where we got to use their polishes. Um, we got to use flex machines because the flex rep was there. And we just got to mess around on a car and just, you know, see what we thought. I actually tried one of the flex direct drive machines and to be honest with you, it felt a little weird. I've never done one before and it felt just a little funny. It felt like it was pulling my arm around, but I kind of got used to it and got pretty good results, to be honest with you, for the first time ever using one of those machines. Uh, they had all kinds of cool little tools to try while we were there and detailers that had been doing this forever I got to talk to, uh, got to get a little bit of information from, you know, what they do, what they expect, how they like Kosh Kimmy products and stuff like that. It was a very, very good time. So I got to mess around with the wash and finish. I didn't actually get to use it, but I watched one of the reps use it. And this isn't a very interesting rinseless wash because this wash product actually foams. Most rinseless washes do not foam at all. Uh, this actually produces a foam as you're washing as you're washing the surface, which is very, very nice. Uh, but it's a very, very cool little rinseless wash that like I've never seen before. Yeah, it smells really good. So it's a rinseless wash that leaves protection. What was that called? Wash and finish. Uh, wash and finish. Wash and finish. Yep. And then you got clay and spray. Clay and spray. Nice lubricant. Is this just a clay lube? Yeah. Nothing else? Can't yep. be used as detail spray or anything? No. Okay. Anybody else want clay? Try I'll try. I'm going to do it, with, it with all that on there. Now, as far as aggressive, is this more of a mild play? It's a mild play. So, so the red one over there would be more of your aggressive. More aggressive. Yeah. 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 We got to use their foaming products, which are absolutely amazing. The GSF is something else. It is, it foams awesome. But then as soon as you rinse it with water, the foam just like disappears because there's nothing worse than when you are foaming a car and you get done, you rinse it all down, you go to dry it, next thing you know, you got foam coming out of cracks That's and crevices. Amazing. GSF, you're not gonna have to really worry about good. that, which is awesome. Now, is this more of a pre-wash foam? Yeah, and you can, yeah. So I, I let it sit on the surface for about two or three minutes. Okay. See how it's starting to already yeah. fall? Yeah. Lift it on it. It's on the surface, take it down, yep. don't let it dry in the sun, wash it from top to bottom, rinse it down. It said don't let it dry in the sun or let yeah. it dry? Because they're water reactive. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. pH neutral. Yep. Oh, hurt it. Okay. Yeah, it smells amazing. So that's actually really cool because you don't have a bunch of foam falling down. Yep. It almost breaks the foam down. Yep. That is awesome.
You got another, you got another mid in there? Yep. Oh jeez. Yeah, man. That is crazy slick. Yep. And this this thing ain't even protected. I noticed that when I was wondering rinsing it earlier. Yeah, it's very high in lubricity, you guys. Yep. Come on over here, Tyler. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> I hope I know what I'm doing. I really do. Okay, I think I'll leave it. Nano Magic Shampoo. So it has a long-term protective in it. Okay. So there's no protection on this, as you guys can see. Correct. But we've already washed this. There's no protection. We're about to just spray this on and rinse it off. Okay. And what it reminds me of, guys, the best way I can say it is the Griot's Garage Foaming Polygloss, where you foam it on, you let it dwell, and then you rinse it off, and it's going to leave a protection behind. It's not going to be a long-lasting protection, but it's going to put a little bit of protection on your paint for you. Not nearly as thick, which is what you want. Well, it's going to be a protection. Yep. How long you let this dwell for? A couple, couple seconds. That's it? And then just rinse right off? Yeah, rinse off. Okay. That was pretty good too. It's got a little bit of a sheeting effect. Yeah, it does. Sheets right off. Yep. right there. That probably felt better on this camera. There you go. The water just falls right off the glass. Once we got done with the day, uh, we actually got to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. We went over to the uh, go-karts on the same property, but the go-kart track, which I was gonna get some awesome footage of. I had the GoPro on my helmet and everything like that. So we, we're on the first lap. We're doing about mm, 35, 40 miles an hour. Nothing crazy fast, but on a go-kart, it's still pretty freaking fast. Uh, the video does not do it justice. Trust me, I've watched it a million times. But they have this one hill that's a blind hill. And as you go up over the hill, you can't see where the track goes because then it just falls down. Well, as I got up over it, there was three carts spinning out right in front of me. Well, I really couldn't hit my brakes because I wasn't going to stop anyways. The one on my right was going backwards towards the ones on my left, so I cut to the right to try to cut him off, and apparently he decided he just wanted to slam on the brakes, and I T-boned him, and the camera went flying down. My neck went flying forward. Man, I felt that the next day, though. My neck was sore the next day. I can tell you that much right now, and I did have a headache, but it was an absolute blast. I mean, man, it was so much fun driving those carts around. You get 55 miles an hour, especially on that front stretch. I mean, you're flying down that thing, and it's downhill. You have a little, uh, little S curve you gotta get through real quick chicane. Uh, it is so much fun. After that, uh, you guys, we went back to the, the resort. Uh, we had a really good dinner that night and we sat next to Phil and Jess um, from Ren Detailing and um, Jimbo and Chicago Autos Pros Jason. And we all talked, we had a great time talking about everything, uh, about YouTube, about Kosh Kimmy, about other products, all kinds of stuff. And it was just a really good time to hang out with other YouTubers. And it was a trip that I will always remember for sure. So I want to thank the whole Kosh Kimmy team and Andrew for the hospitality, sending us down there and letting us just kind of enjoy a couple days uh, down in a different state, beautiful state of Georgia. And we got to have uh, we got to have some fun testing out some products and meeting new people. 
and it was a great great time and hopefully this video gave you guys an insight at what a launch event is like it's the second launch event that i've ever been to and both of them have been fantastic you guys so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below right next to that hit that little bell turn on all notifications so every time i upload a video you get notified and we'll see you in the next video